Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. This is part three of this tutorial series. So if you haven't watched the previous two, go back and watch them just to see what we're done and where we're at. In this one, we're gonna go through all the finer details, start adding in some more greebles. Um, what else are we gonna do? Some more paneling just to pretty it up a little bit. So if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know if I said that, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, well, let's just get into it. So what I want to do is, especially with this front piece, I kind of want to give it a little bit more depth. So let's go shift A and go into a new plane. Now this is a little tip that I did show oh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so if you like these little tips, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date. So from here, I'm just going to kind of go like that, put our plane in here. I'm going to go right click subdivide and let's subdivide it a few more times. Let's come into the add modifiers. I'm gonna go into decimate. I'm just gonna press tab to go out of edit mode. Unsubdivide by one, control A. And now we've got a whole bunch of triangles, you little ripper. From here, I'm gonna press I to do an inset. And then I'm just gonna go delete faces. Let's now clear the faces we don't need which will be all this. So I don't want it to go too gun ho All the faces up here. Whoops, there's a little bit on the sides, just in case there's some on the bottom. Let's go on these here. I'm just gonna go now delete faces. Nope. Let's go delete vertices. Let's go delete edges. There we go. We can see I've left a few in here. I'm just gonna grab these stragglers, delete vertices. There we go. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is E to extrude. There we go. That is pretty suave. <laughs> Let's just go in the mirror modify. We'll throw that on the back side as well. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I do feel I should be doing something with the top. Maybe this is here. I, I really don't know. Let's just add in a circle. Uh, we'll change it to 40 just to give it a little bit of extra geometry. Let's go GZ. Scale it in a bit. Let's go face. I'm gonna do I. This bit, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing. Let's get something like that. We can go GZ, actually we'll select both of these. GZ, bring it in. Um, we'll make sure that now we have all these below this outer piece. GZ, there we go. Uh, what can we do here? Let's put a small bevel through there, E to extrude, and I'm gonna bring that down from here. Probably do the same. There we go, let's grab that. E to extrude down, but what I will do is grab this section as well. Oh, actually. Yeah, like I said, I don't really have a plan for this section. Let's just go GZ, bring that down like so. Let's just go shade smooth, come over here into auto smooth. That's interesting that it looks like that. What have I done? Let's go scale, there we go. How bizarre. What I might do is I'm just gonna delete those vertices. I don't know, it's gone a bit astray there. Let's just press F and then I'll select this. I'm just gonna go F all the way back around. Is that in the center? Yeah, it looks like it. Anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> Trying to hit that edge loop. There we go. E to extrude on the Z axis, bring it all the way down. Stop being a jerk. There we go, that's looking a bit better. 
from here let's grab these two control b to do a bevel same here control b to do a bevel um, from here i'm going to grab this i'm just going to move it down there we go i just want that outer rim just sitting above because then when we shift select this control numpad minus we have this piece kind of sitting on top now one thing we haven't really designed is that it's not very stackable so if you wanted a whole bunch of these crates on top of each other that, that's not really going to work but i'll leave that for your imagination um, probably one last thing is maybe we'll make a bit of a touch screen here and i think then we'll call it quits let's go like that scale g z uh where are we going gx this way there we go kind of create some sort of panel maybe what i'll do is delete this face and then we'll oops delete this vertices and then we'll come back and clean up the rest um let's go gz bring that up scale on scale on the y all right so we want a bit of a thing that looks like a screen I mean, we could just simply go like so. I'm going to go shift D scale that. And then do we have two faces in here is the next question. Yeah, we sure do. Let's select that delete face. I'm going to grab these edges in here. Control shift B. Whoops. Control B, sorry. And then this is going to be kind of like as if it's a plastic piece that sits over the top. E to extrude. Let's grab that. Control B. Doesn't need to be so rushed. And we can see that the bevel's looking a little... Is the bevel looking a little bit off? It seems a little bit off. Let's just check the scaling of this piece. I might have scaled it already. Nope, scale looks fine. So that was just my eyes going crazy, considering the fact that it's late at night already. Um, let's go ahead and select this. This will be our screen and we'll move it into place. GX, bring it in like so. Where's the screen? There it is. Let's go ahead and select our screen. G to the X, bring it out. You know what? I'm fairly happy with that. Um, we could probably go through and create some more ornaments, some more greebly stuff along the top of this lid. Um, but I think, I think that looks quite nice. Um, maybe even some handles to take the lid off. Well, we got that top lid there. That's fine. I don't have any hinges here, but that can be designed simply enough. Okay. You've twisted my arm. We should probably do that. Let's go into a cube. All right, let's see if we can work out some sort of hinge system. So I'm going to go scale GX. Ah. GX, scale on the X. Let's go something like that. GX. So what I'm going to do, start off with, is I'm going to make a cutout for the hinge to be in place. Because this box is kind of meant to be planned so that it sits um, stackable or together in a line, we're going to try and keep this hinge inside as much as possible. So from here, I'm going to add in our mirror modifier along the Y axis. There we go. Let's go control shift. Oh, sorry. Shift left click minus. There we go. And then with this selected again, I'm going to go shift left click on the top control minus there we go so now we've got our cutout you little ripper i'm going to bring this boolean up a little bit there we go just so we've got the boolean in there i'm going to select this one down here as well and we'll bring this one up come on get up there there we go so that's all combined hunky dory this piece here looks a little bit weird. I don't know what's going on there. So maybe I might go into edit mode, shift N to flip the normals. Nope, that's fine. Let's go select this, shift N, flip the normals. 
Ah, so the reason why this is funky is let's move this one down one. There we go. So it was just the ordering was a little bit out. Um, let's change 0 0.005. So that's these roughly are the same. 0 0.00, oops, 0 0.003. There we go. That looks a little bit cleaner. From here, we need to create some sort of piece that's now going to be sitting in there. Um, let's go into mesh, cylinder, tab, G, Z, rotate, X, nine degrees. I'm going to go scale. From here, I'm just going to delete these side faces. Let's come into the side view. And I'm going to select this edge and the back edge, V to rip. Control L, G, Z, and I'm going to bring it down like so. Let's select that and that face, that and that face. From here, let's press that face, face, control L. There we go. It's going to bring it in something like this. Scale on the Y. Okay, now let's push this all the way out. So it sits something like that. So you might see how I'm thinking. Um, what could we do to differentiate this as well? Maybe what I'll do is select these two vertices, shift S cursor to selected. Let's go into that thingamabob, rotate X 90 degrees. Let's go G, G, Y scale on along the Y axis. And it might actually just lie a little bit, bring it up. Shift D Z and we'll bring it down like so. There we go. So now we've kind of got these pins in here. So let's grab this control B to do a bevel. Nice mirror on the Y. Let's just make sure we go shade smooth and that. That's not too bad. I'll buy that for a dollar. So I reckon I might leave it at that. I think, oh geez, this circle piece is annoying me a little bit. I think it could be done a lot better. I'm going to select these sections in here, right click, make sharp. There we go. So that's kind of given what I was after there. I don't think that suits at all. I think I might come back and change that a little bit later. Um, but that is a very nice looking sci-fi crate. Part three completed. One more part to go. So if you haven't already, once again, hit the subscribe button to make sure you follow on. You get the update for the next video. And until next time.